Hey, what's going on guys? Well, it's been a while since I did a cigar review. And uh, as you guys know, I have tons of cigars now, so I've been enjoying a few of them lately. Today I'm going to try this beast. This is the Roaring Meg Shock and Awe. Okay. This thing's massive. I don't know if you can really grasp how big this cigar is. This is the biggest cigar I will have ever smoked in my life. I, this is a 70 ring gauge, it's five and a half by 70. Uh, it's the middle size one. The Shock and Awe's, I believe, are an exclusive to JR Cigars. Um, they have the small one, which I think is a 60. This is a 70 ring gauge, and then they have an 80 ring gauge. This one's called the Roaring Meg, which is the name of a cannon, which makes sense, right? So these are military, you know, style or military themed uh, cigar. You can see the, the band here. Looks like a big shell with the cigar hanging out. So Shock and Awe. To give you a comparison, this is a cigar size I normally smoke. This is a uh, Gurkha Jubilee, and this is a five and a half, or excuse me, a five by fifty, I believe, Robusto. All right, so look at the difference there. Okay, normal cigar, beast. This looks like something that would have came out of Gus's rear end, which I know doesn't sound appetizing, but uh, I'm very curious to see how this thing smokes. Uh, it smells great. I mean, it's perfectly humidified. See, just a little bit of a uh, give here. Um, it smells like a barnyard. It smells like hay. It smells like your uh, country fair. But in a good way. <laughs> I like the country fair. So, uh, let's see. I have my, uh, my new cutter here. Which we're going to be talking about in the future. I'm going to do a video on um, cutters. My experience with them. This looks like there's a triple cap on this. So hopefully, take some off here and not have any problems actually do a second cut just so I can get this nice and open on the back end here okay it just feels wrong it's too big there's such a thing as too big this is uh, it's too big <laughs> not used to that but we'll see we'll see how this works out so I wrote down some uh, some notes here. Um, this has a Pennsylvania broadleaf wrapper, which I think is pretty common actually for the, the huge ring uh, gauge cigars. Uh, the binders, a uh, Habana, and the filler is a Nicaraguan uh, Habana tobacco. All right. Um, again, didn't buy this, but found them on JR Cigars. They have the biggest one, I forget the name of it, the um, 80 ring gauge. They have the 70 ring gauge one. I didn't see the small one might be sold out. But it's actually really affordable. If you're interested in these, you can get them for under four bucks a piece. They're uh, boxes of 16, and they're going for like, they're on sale right now, so they're about 57 bucks. That's like 350, 360 a cigar, which is actually really, really affordable. So we'll see you know, how this thing uh, tastes and how long it lasts and stuff. By the way, it is exactly five o'clock, well, 5.02, so we'll get a, a good idea of how long this uh, takes to smoke. It's a beautiful day out, but it's windy, which is making it kind of chilly, so I'm wearing a sweatshirt. But yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get this thing lit up. It'll take me a while to get this started. I may or may not fast forward this part or cut right to where it's actually lit. But either way, we'll be smoking it soon. There's a lot of foot here. All right. Well, finally got this thing lit up. So here we go. First draw. Hmm. That tastes really good. Um, tastes kind of mild to medium. I mean, obviously we just started here, but uh, kind of a sweet smoke, which is nice. Definitely awkward to uh, keep in your mouth. I mean, your mouth is wide open trying to smoke this thing. Um, actually, has a great flavor. I'm hoping this kind of stays like this. I mean, I like transitions in cigars. You know what I mean? I don't generally go for. I mean, I like trying new things all the time. It's why I'm trying this beast. I normally would not buy something this big or you know try something this big that's what's so cool about doing the trading and not really knowing in this case everything I'm going to get because this is something I never would have purchased 
but I'm able to try now, which is pretty damn cool. But, uh, so far, just, um, smooth tobacco, and it's actually very smooth. There's a little bit of a, a woodiness to it, a little bit of a, I wouldn't say cedar specifically, but something woody. And there's definitely a peppery zing as I'm puffing on a little bit more now that the pepper's coming through. But it's good. Wooden pepper. Pretty much it so far. So yeah, that's. Uh, I have no idea how long this thing's going to burn. Um, i got lots of water here <laughs> so I can hang out and stay hydrated for this uh, journey and hopefully there's still some sun by the time I'm done. I am starting a little bit late at uh, 5 o'clock. So I'm just going to sit back and enjoy smoking this tree trunk and uh, see where it goes. So stay tuned, but it's definitely uh, comically large. It's like some Bugs Bunny would uh, blow up. Alright, I'm back for a sec. Just want to talk about some stuff. It's uh, 525. You can see with the angry Gus face I have on my home screen. So about 20, 25 minutes in. So I think I got this lit by like 5 after. So let's just say 20 minutes. Um, it's actually smoking normal. It's not like razor, razor sharp, but I have to say I am shocked and in awe at the burn. As I rotate this, you can see it is, I mean, there's a little, little peaks and valleys there, but very minute in comparison um, to other larger ring gauge cigars I've smoked before. I say this is the biggest cigar I've ever smoked before because it is. I've had longer cigars that were 60 ring gauge, which are beasts, but I've never had a 70 before. So, um, yeah, I mean, I didn't know what to expect other than it being uncomfortable to keep in my mouth. Um, but so far, I mean, it, it's smoking like a regular cigar. The, the smoke that it's putting off, like the, you know, the room note, smells great, smells sweet. Um, it's not pouring lots of, uh, of smoke. I mean, I've had little cigars. It just, it, it feels like there's 10 cigars lit. You know what I mean? It just fills the area. Granted, there is a little bit of wind going on right now, but it is just a mild smoke coming off the cigar. As far as the actual draw, the draw is not tight. It's not, I would think that it would be putting out so much extra smoke because of the size, but it's not. It's puffing like a, a regular cigar. moderate smoke. Um, I kind of give it this double puff just because of the size because if I just do a single puff I do get smoke but I like to have a little bit more in my mouth so I can get more of that flavor. Um, but it's not burning hot or anything. It's not tunneling, canoeing. I mean I'm really in shock and awe I have to say. I would imagine this uh, ash will hold on for a little bit just because it's so fat. I don't know exactly where. Um, you know of course once it falls off I'll turn the camera back on but uh, yeah I mean as far as flavors it's it's kind of uh, all over the place there's a little bit of sweetness there there's a little bit of earth there is still some kind of spice or pepper um, there's a woodiness still to it uh, it's just interesting it's actually complex I really didn't think there would be like this, I mean, it's it's you know no Padron 64 or anything like that, uh, but it's it's not for for under four dollars. It's actually surprisingly tasty. Put it that way. I didn't think that this. I figured it was just a big cheap novelty cigar, cheap tobaccos. Couldn't be further from the truth. This is actually a very nicely made quality cigar. So um, yeah, it's it's interesting to me. As you can see, the uh, the ash here is slightly on the uh, the darker side of things but uh yeah the burn just going fine oh and by the way i did uh google it the um roaring meg now i mentioned because I, I first looked it up roaring meg is a cannon which i forget where it's located outside the u.s somewhere it's some castle um but this is not the cannon roaring meg was also the name of a mortar um in World War II. So this series of cigars, the Shock and Awe series, the three different names for them are different uh, bombs from World War II. So that's what the reference is. And you can see again that pictured in the band. So uh, yeah, just interesting. Apparently Rory Mag was uh, used more than once. But uh, yeah, just 
not too shabby. Um, <laughs> I'm actually surprised. I thought this was all novelty, but it, it really isn't. Alright, well, we're about 40 minutes in, and the inevitable happens. The burn is wonky. You can see this side of the wrapper just doesn't want to burn. Totally common with uh, such a large ring gauge cigar. Not a huge deal, but I want to correct it right now before it gets really bad where it, you know the cigar gets ruined. But um, basically what we do is just uh, burn that wrapper just to get it caught up so it's nice and even with the rest of the cigar. Kind of hoping that it wasn't going to be like that, but I spoke too soon, I guess. And the wind's not helping me here with this later. So, yeah, I mean, it's just an extremely common thing. I'll show you this. That happens with these huge cigars. Doesn't happen to me often because I don't often smoke something this fat. But yeah. So, again, just evening it up. That's all, making sure that uh, the, that wrapper is burned on the other side. So that should all, all that's all it really is going to need. Just a little bit of burn there so we can catch up. As far as flavor, totally the same as before. The ash is kind of, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of leaning that way now. So I don't know how long this is going to hold on for. We'll see. It's so weird holding this thing. It's just huge. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to give you a quick, uh, quick update there. So we'll see. We'll see if it starts burning now okay or not. But yeah, there you go. So 40 minutes in. Actually, this ash, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a crack there on the side so I know it's not going to hold all that much but I'll just keep on puffing until it falls so we'll see, maybe I'll leave the camera rolling here so you can catch it falling I'll leave the ashtray kind of towards my lap alright well uh, it's been just under an hour we got about three minutes to go <laughs> that ash did not fall off yet and actually after the uh, touch up the burn seems pretty decent like I said a couple little hills and valleys there but eh, it's holding on um, so yeah that's uh, a little crazy that's an hour so this is gonna be at least a two hour to two and a half hour smoke <laughs> it's starting to get cold out here the winds picking up and I'm in the shade but it's okay I'm gonna, you know Stick with it and enjoy the cigar. Uh, flavors taste exactly the same as before. I mean, if anything, let me, let me take another puff and reevaluate things here. Um, if anything, the, uh, the wood kind of died off and it's, it's mostly just kind of earthy. Um, the spice is still very much there. That's been there since the beginning. Well, the very first puff it wasn't, but you know, most of the uh, the hour of smoking has been pretty spicy. Um, as far as the strength, I mean, it, it's it's ramping up a little bit, but that's just because I've been smoking for an hour. You know what I mean? I would imagine my best guess is that by the time I get to the two hour mark, um, this thing will be kicking my butt as far as uh, nicotine and strength. Doesn't mean it's a strong cigar, it just means it's a big cigar. You know, so it's not something I'm normally used to is smoking two hours. Like the, recently I did a, um, I actually never did a review on it because I've already done a review on it before, but I had a Padron Magnum, which is a uh, nine by 50. And that thing kicked my butt. I posted a picture on uh, Instagram because it's, you know, it's a normal width cigar, normal ring gauge, but I mean, it's a long cigar. Nine inches is pretty, pretty darn long. And um, that, around the two hour mark was uh, I was pretty much done you know what I mean so I'm assuming this will be the same thing it's not nine inches long but it's just as much tobacco as the magnum if not more but uh yeah just interesting that that ash is holding on I can't remember last time I smoked a cigar for an hour without having ash yeah, 
it is what it is. So I'm going to keep smoking, enjoying this thing. Starting to get used to the uh, the bigger size here. Doesn't mean I'm going to switch to it though. Uh, I'm not going to start buying <laughs> cigars of this caliber or size. But it's interesting. Something different. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's nice when you have a hobby and you try uh, a variety of, of things. So anyway, yeah, it's pretty much it for now. I'll get back with you guys. Who knows when? Jesus. Alright guys, well, I keep moving this band back because it's loose enough now to, uh, to kind of slip off, so I'm going to do that. So that's nice, not attached to the wrapper or anything. Look at the size of that ring gauge. Damn. So, uh, yeah, uh, fix it up again off camera. You can see it's still trying to climb down that one side right now. Um, let's see, time check. It is 10 to 7. And it's getting damn cold, if I might add. Um, and as you could probably hear, the wind's picking up. <laughs> and this thing's kicking my butt. What I'm getting at is that I'm probably going to end this in about 10, 15 minutes or so. Uh, time I start, 5 o'clock. It's almost two hours. Like I said, probably two, two hours, 20 minutes, two and a half hours, I guess. Um, the overall smoke time, I mean, you know, right now it's not... It's not hot or anything. It's actually cool all the way up to where I'm holding my fingers here. So I would say there's probably a half an hour left on this thing, but I'm getting gold out here. The nicotine is just ramping up. So I'm starting to get the uh, the jitters and, and feeling a little lightheaded and stuff. But uh, um, as far as flavors, let's take another puff. Talk about those, right? That's what it's all about, the flavors. Still same as before, just uh, earth. Earth at this point, pepper is still there. I would say the pepper and the earth have pretty much been here the entire time. Again, to recap, in the beginning, there was a little bit of that woodiness and sweetness, but that died off. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I read online that the, some people get coffee out of here, or like espresso specifically. I didn't get any of that. No, uh, no coffee to speak of. Um, which would have been nice. I like I like coffee and espresso type flavors in uh, in cigars, but that's okay. Still a good quality cigar as far as the uh, the flavor and stuff. So uh, this this easily has 20 minutes to maybe even a half an hour more on this, but I'm done. My personal rule is once I'm no longer enjoying the cigar, I'm done. I don't care if I'm halfway through a cigar. I don't really consider it a waste. Some people may say, oh my God, you're wasting the tobacco. If you're not enjoying it, what's the point, right? So that's my personal rule. I, I feel you should do the same thing. Once you're no longer enjoying it, that's it. It's done. For me, it's twofold. Number one, the nicotine's kicking my butt. Number two, the sun's starting to go down and the wind's picking up and I'm getting really cold out here. So uh, I ain't enjoying it. I'm done. As far as... Um, putting out a cigar, I don't think I've ever mentioned this before, but quick little tip. It doesn't matter for me right now because I'm by myself and I'm also outside. But um, generally speaking, when you're done with the cigar, just leave it in the ashtray and let it go out by itself. Um, and there's a couple reasons for this. Number one, when you snub a cigar out, um, all that, that ash and stuff, it breaks down and starts floating in the air and it smells. It smells really bad. And if you ever notice, if you put a cigar out about 20 minutes to a half an hour later, it really stinks. And that's because everything, all the nicotine and the tar and stuff, it crystallizes and becomes extremely bitter. Uh, if you've ever smoked a cigar, put it out and tried relighting it later and it had a horrible taste, that's why. Because that, all that stuff uh, crystallizes and it becomes extremely bitter. But that smell is extremely odorous as well. Okay, while I'm enjoying a cigar, that's great. It's one of the reasons why I don't smoke inside because the, the old cigar smoke, you know, it sticks to the walls and stuff and it, it really does stink. Um, you know, while I'm enjoying a cigar, that's when I want to smell it. When I'm done with the cigar, I don't want to smell it. Um, unless it's, you know, burning somewhere fresh. But anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put this down. It's something I've learned. I, I used to snub them out and yeah, I'd experienced that like, you know, stinky smell and, and now I've learned that you don't do that. It's kind of a courtesy thing you do, especially when you're amongst other people, if you're in a cigar lounge or something. It's just, uh, you know, it's frowned upon to kind of start, you know, trying to screw it down into your ashtray. <laughs> so, 
Anyway, um, what can I say about this cigar? It is, uh, it's a powerhouse in the nicotine department. If you're someone who lights one cigar off another one and you're smoking them all day long, two, three, four cigars, uh, maybe that's cool for you, <laughs> but if you're a casual cigar smoker, it, it's a little much. I'm actually surprised because its size is a novelty and kind of gimmicky, but it's not a super cheap cigar as far as the quality. Uh, I felt that you know it was actually a really enjoyable smoke. It just happens to be a longer smoke that I normally enjoy. Um, as far as flavors, almost all the way through, we had the earthiness um, and we had a little bit of spice. Sometimes it tasted kind of like pepper, like a pepper spice specifically. Um, sometimes it was just a general spice that I had, you know, in my mouth. Um, other flavors that came through in the beginning but died off was the woodiness. Like when I first started uh, smoking it, I had a little bit of woodiness there, and there's also a natural sweetness, and that kind of died off as well. Other than that, nothing else. It's um, started off kind of complex and uh, just was one dimensional all the way throughout the rest. If that's something you like, that's a pro. If it's something you don't like, it's a con. For me, I generally like cigars that have different transitions and different flavors and stuff, you know. But uh, I do like trying different things. So um, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I would definitely, definitely recommend picking these up if you want to give cigars as gifts. If you know someone who's an, an avid cigar smoker, uh, this is definitely something they probably have never tried before. But it's not all gimmick. You know, when you whip the thing out or they open a present, they go, wow, what the heck's this thing? It's a, it looks like a cartoon cigar. But if they do really enjoy cigars, they will enjoy smoking this. You know what I mean? Depending on, you know, their personal preference. But my point is it's an actual smokable cigar and for less than $4. I really, I don't know if these are available as singles. I'm pretty sure this is exclusive just to JR Cigars. Um, but it would be cool if they did sell these as singles. I don't know a lot of people who would want to get 16 of these or even the, the, the biggest size one I think comes in packs of 14. It's kind of a commitment, even though they're relatively inexpensive at like 50 or 60 bucks for um, you know a box of them. You might just want to try one, you know what I mean? So it'd, it'd be cool if they were sold as singles, but I really don't think they are. It just kind of is what it is. But um, yeah, I mean, if you ever have, if you ever see these somewhere as a single, I would definitely recommend getting them. Other than that, if you play golf with a bunch of guys and they all smoke cigars, or you happen to go to a cigar lounge, you're a cigar buff probably why you're watching this video uh, other than entertainment it's to learn about specific cigars um yeah if you're part of a cigar club or something if you often visit you know a, a lounge or something definitely get a box of these pass them out people will enjoy them you know it's uh it's interesting but for the lower price less than four dollars a stick it's it's actually surprisingly good in, in the quality and the flavor um as far as the burn issues Totally expected. Any cigar person would tell you that. Anything that's this big is going to have some kind of burn issue. And it did. I had to constantly, um, you know, keep that in check and, and keep it nice and uh, razor sharp. But that's pretty much it. So I'm done. I'm going to go inside and warm up and uh, get myself some more water since I drank it all and call it a night. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you guys have suggestions on comically large cigars, you know, that actually, uh, you know, taste good, post it down below. I'm sure everyone watching would love to know about them, including myself. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I always appreciate your time. You know, this, like I said it before, there's lots of videos on YouTube. Probably millions at this point, right? Um, so the fact that you stop in and check my videos out, and this is the end of it. So whether you skipped through it or not, you, you saw it to the end, and I appreciate that. Appreciate your support. Appreciate your viewership. And uh, appreciate the feedback. So once again, have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.